Hey everyone, it's Katherine. I haven't been filming as often, I can't remember if I talked about it in my last video, but I'm moving, so I'm going to be filming really sporadically in the next few weeks. But I have been thrifting a little bit, mostly because I've been donating stuff, so I'll go into the thrift store whenever I'm donating, even though I shouldn't be obtaining more things. But I thought I'd go ahead and haul some of the stuff that I found. I don't have any footage from it, but um, I thought I'd just do a normal haul without footage. I guess I'll start with St. Vincent de Paul. And I already showed you guys in the last video that I found the Dreamcatcher there. And I went ahead and put it in this bag because I found another thing that is going to go along with the giveaway that I'm hoping to do. I'll probably wait and do it after I've moved in um, because I'm not going to have time to find other things for it. I found this bag and it's so cool. It's got, um, it's very like westerny and it has really cool prints on it and there are horses and I just like the colors I think it's really nice and it was 50 cents which is awesome our St. Vincent de Paul has great prices bags at our other local thrift store Worldwide Missions are way too expensive uh, Goodwill bags are nice so they're always a dollar so that's pretty sweet but um, found this for 50 cents which was awesome so I'm glad I picked it up it's going to be part of the giveaway then there I just picked up one other thing and this is so adorable it's actually in a size 14, 16 girls, and it just barely fits me, and I'm buttoning it right now, that's why I'm not showing you, because I want you to see what it looks like buttoned. The way it fits, it's it's like snug, but it's not in like a, in a bad way, so I don't know how long I'm going to fit into it, so I might end up on my shop, but it's very, very cute. I'm going to try to get some wear out of it, and it's this top. Isn't it so cute? It's got a collar and it ties at the bottom. It's just really adorable. The floral print is so, so nice. And it's just really cute. Yeah, like I said, I want to try to get some wear out of it before I part ways with it. Just because I think it's, it's so awesome. It's like the perfect shirt for me because it's a crop top and it's floral. And it's got a collar. It's like everything I could imagine in a shirt. So <laughs> I want to get wear out of it. I think she charged me for a kid's shirt anyway, so I paid probably a dollar for it, maybe a dollar fifty. So that was awesome. That's all I got at St. Vincent de Paul. That same day, I went to Goodwill, and this top, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen, but it's this wolf shirt, and it's really awesome. It's an extra small, and I actually found it in the little girl section, even though it's a extra small and like a junior's, and it's super cute. But um, when I brought it up to the register, she asked me, you know, she said, is this a girl's shirt? I said, I found it in that section, but I think it's supposed to be a, like, woman's shirt. And she just charged me for a girl's price anyway. So I got it for um, $2 instead of $2.50. I know it's only a 50 cents discount, but <laughs> I thought that was cool. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just, the print is really nice. It's just a wolf standing in front of a forest, which is in purple. <laughs> um, it's just feels really soft so it'll be nice to throw on summer nights and definitely wear in fall. Then this is from a different Goodwill. Don't know if it's from the same trip or not. not might have been from later in the week. But I found this skirt which I really love and it's a pleated denim skirt and I really dig denim skirts whenever they're like pleated. I just don't like the form fitting mini denim skirts that were really popular and like the early 2000s. I don't know. I remember owning one just because it was like the thing. I was like 13, but like I don't like those and um, I really love pleated denim. I think pleated denim is so cool. So I needed to pick it up, but it has these plaid buttons, which I like, but then I'm like, are those going to go with everything? So I might replace the buttons. But yeah, it fits me perfectly high-waisted, so I really like that too. So I'm going to have fun styling this. Definitely going to wear it a lot over the summer. Finally, I really love this. I got this orange, like super bright orange um, tank top and I love how it looks on me. I think I got it from the large section. It it fits fine loose and it's, it's semi sheer. I don't know, I really like it. Very bright. I usually don't go for neons, but for some reason I really like this bright orange, so glad I picked that up. Next trip, I'm going to try to go through this quick because I don't know when my camera is going to die, but okay. So I found another small backpack and I've been trying to find these so I can put more and more in my shop because I keep having people ask me about them. So I have two up there now. Well, I don't think I put this one up yet. 
I have the leather one up there now, but I'm gonna add this one. I just thought it was really nice. It's brand new condition. It's just applied blue on. Reminds me of Clueless, which is cool, and I think it's Liz Claiborne brand. But it has a zip on the side, so you can easily access anything. These are great for summer. I go to uh, a nearby theme park usually twice during the summer, and these are really great for that and going for walks. Especially if you live like smack dab in the middle of a bunch of cities. Um, my city is like a mid-sized city, but we live right in the middle of like four larger cities. We have Indianapolis above us, Louisville next to us, Nashville below us, and St. Louis next to us. We're like right in the middle of all of them. I go to those cities a lot like on weekend trips during the summer and having one of these is perfect. You can throw like whatever you need and then you have your hands free, especially if you're going to be doing shopping and stuff. So yeah, this one will be up on my shop as well. Then I went ahead and I bought this watch shirt and again, if you follow my Instagram, I posted this as a regret um, that I didn't buy it. It was like two or three weeks ago. Well, I don't know if it was that long ago. Maybe two weeks ago. Um, and when I was there, I found it again. And it's just this button-down shirt and it has watches all over it and it is awesome. It has stopwatches and regular watches and all different colors and shapes. And I just thought it was really cool. I, I'm going to try it on and see if I can roll up the sleeves and make it work for me. If I can, I'm going to put it up on my shop, but I really want it to work for me because I love this shirt. So we'll see how that goes, but um, I just thought it was really awesome. We'll see. We'll see. Finally, I found a really great pair of high waist shorts, but I think they're like one inch difference from my waist. I'm a size 27 and I think they're closer to a 28. Because when I tried them on, I was like, oh, this would work with a belt. But then I thought, I have so many high waist shorts, I'll just buy them and sell them on my shop. So that's what I'm doing. They're actually up there on already. And this is what they look like. And the brand is Breaker Jeans. And this floral print is so pretty. I don't know. I just really love it. And it actually buttons all the way up instead of zips. The, the, the buttons are hidden. I don't know. They're really cute, though. And they, they go up like the perfect high waistedness. They go up the perfectly on your waist, like above your belly button. So I really dig these, but yeah, they're up on my Etsy. And then um, when I was going through my sister's stuff, we found these and these are up on the Etsy as well. We actually thrifted these for my sister last year and she never wore them. They fit like a 25, 26 waist, um, which is what my sister is, but she doesn't want to keep them. She doesn't really dig the high waist look. so. Um, she told me I could sell them, so that's what I'm doing. But they are gorgeous, and I'm super jealous they don't fit me because I have a really great yellow top that I would wear with these. I don't know, but I just think they're super, super cute. Love the pattern. They're just awesome. I don't know. Wish they fit me. Really, really wish they fit me. So that's all I've gotten in the past week, thrifting. Yeah, I'm trying to not thrift for the next couple of weeks while I am packing and getting ready to move and then once I moved in I'm going to try to get some home decor for my room and, and for um, our bathroom that my sister and I will be sharing. But yeah, besides that, I'm sorry I haven't filmed so much and I'll get back to a regular routine once I move into the new house. So while I'm posting sporadically, I'm going to recommend some people that you should be watching right now. Um, these are people that I watch regularly, they're some of my favorite YouTubers and I'm going to just link them down below. I guess that's it. I'll try to post something within the next seven to ten days again <laughs> and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!